Akshay Kumar's next OMG 2, the sequel to the 2012 film Oh My God, is set to hit the theatres in two weeks. Ahead of the release of the film, the makers have dropped the first song titled Har Har Mahadev. The song is centred around Akshay's character of Lord Shiva. After playing a very subtle Lord Krishna in Oh My God, Akshay takes a not-so-subtle approach of playing Lord Shiva. The actor is seen dressed as the widely known image of Lord Shiva with a Jata Makuta, which is a coil of matted locks. In the first song from OMG2, Akshay Kumar is seen dancing amid a sea of devotees. While not much is known about his character in the film, there's a scene in the song where Pankaj Tripathi, a staunch devotee, is seen looking at Akshay Kumar with his hands folded. Meanwhile, Talking about ONG2, unlike the 2012 outing where the Lord comes to the rescue of an atheist, this time he comes to help his devotee. The first film starred Paresh Rawal alongside Akshay Kumar with the brilliant Mithun Chakravarti as a godman. The teaser of ONG2 begins with a brief recap of part 1 where Paresh Rawal aka Kanjilal, an atheist, witnesses divine intervention when Lord Krishna comes to aid. He files a case against God after he loses his shop in a natural disaster. However, for the sequel, Akshay Kumar as Lord Shiva comes to the aid of his devotee Pankaj Tripathi. The character is portrayed as a believer who regularly worships Lord Shiva. The film also stars Yami Gautam as a lawyer. However, she was not seen in the teaser. Earlier, Oh My God 2 was set to clash at the box office with Ranbir Kapoor's starer Animal, directed by Sandeep Reddy Wanga, and Sunny Deol's Gadar 2 which was scheduled to release on August 11. However, the makers of Animal have announced a new release date. The film will now be released on December 1st of 2023. Gadar 2, however, stays put on August 11th, the Independence Day weekend. Sunny Dil was recently questioned about the box office clash in a recent interview with the Times of India. Sunny recalled how Gadar and Lagan clashed in 2001 and how such films should not be compared. Sunny said, Gadar did 100 crore plus, while Lagan did much lesser. I don't understand why people compare, whether it's from the business or likability point. Gadar didn't have the perception people thought it is this masala film. Ye purani type ki picture hai, purani type ki gaane hai. On the other hand, people thought Lagan was classic, etc. The so called people who talk about films had run down Gadar completely. It went on to become a people's film, and they loved it. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.